It's uh, morning. Uh, what's today? Tuesday morning. Session is at 10 a.m. this morning. Finishing up the coffee as we speak. Computer's already fired up. Little work to do there. Bags packed, ready to go. And then of course there's Rudy. Hey Rudy, do you say hi? Yeah, this is Rudy. Rudy's our six month old Havanese. Yep, oh, he's saying hi to the camera. Yep, exactly, that's Rudy. Um, kids are gonna be up in a little while. He hasn't gone out yet. And today's kind of an exciting morning because we go to breakfast. Um, and uh, it's a special breakfast because it is the middle school honors breakfast in both Elena, eighth grade, and Jack, seventh grade, have achieved honors status. So good news from that front, proud of them. I'll take them to breakfast, then get on the road to Lansing. Checking work, making sure we're ready for today's session. The video blog continues. I've got one awake. We're heading out. School time. Brady, say goodbye. We're gonna go ahead and say hi anyway on our way to the breakfast. There he is. Lena. Hi. On our way to breakfast. What's for chow? With a spoon. With a spoon. What's for chow? Pop tarts. Pop tarts and pancakes. Breakfast of champions. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, so how did you do on your grades? Mostly 4.0. Mostly. It either is or it isn't. It is. It is. Okay, good work. All right. How'd you do on your grades? Four point. Four point. That's what I'm talking about. Woo! Good work. We'll get to work on it, and uh, Brian, when I'll give you a call back at some point in time here. Part of the job on the way, uh, I-94, making my way down I-94, and a couple calls coming in regarding economic development, which is nice. It gives me a chance to engage on issues related to economic development. Um, project happening in Southwest Michigan, and need to work with some of the owners of the businesses to see if we can't help to put together the pieces of an economic development incentive package that'll keep them from going to a different state. Two hours later, made it into Lansing uh, on time. Uh, on my way into fellowship right now. So our trusty team of intern folks are doing well. Session up there, we're ready to go. You all know, I left, maybe you don't know this, but I left this morning when you guys did. Maybe a little bit earlier. I had breakfast with my kids for, for school this morning, and then I got up early and got up for 9.30 Just met with Kristen Weir, a physician and uh, educator in autism. She's going to be presenting next week in St. Joe at First Congregational Church. She and Brett, her husband, live in St. Joe. She just stopped into the office to talk about what's happening with autism and autism research, and it turns out that perhaps my work on career and technical education actually gives us a chance to help her out and help out those students. Hands-on education may work. Um, we finished until two o'clock today. We've got session right now, or rather committees right now. I'm heading into local government and spending some time there. Hey. And there's Curtis. How you doing? Senator Hertel joining me uh, on our walk to committee, but he's not going to local government. Where are you going? I'm going to health policy. All right, enjoy health policy, brother. You enjoy that. All right, thanks. Please. Through our business, uh, we need to adopt a motion uh, for the minutes from October 27th, 2015. So moved. Moved by Senator Froze. Without any objection, the minutes are adopted. Committee's finished. Heading back to the Capitol now. Uh, a couple of different meetings that have been rescheduled because session's supposed to go long today. Always pretty cool looking at this view right here, though. See, the flag is up, indicating that we are in session. Back to the office for meetings. And so these are the classmates from Hollywood Elementary School, right here. Say hi, everybody. Hi. There's everybody. How are you? So we will be back in a little while after you guys take your tour and get the glass floor experience. All right. Working on these bills uh, related to lots of different things moving at one time. We'll see how things go in the future. No clue how long we'll be tonight. My guess is quite late. Even before our first president, George Washington, issued the first presidential Thanksgiving proclamation in 1789, in his first inaugural address, President Washington observed that...
had a meeting at the school tonight to finish up the school uh, day. Nora was homesick today. You feeling better? Mm -hmm. Okay, all feeling better. What grade are you in now? I'm in third. Third grade. Who's your teacher? Mrs. Karina. All right. What are you working on right now for homework? Reading. All right. We'll get your reading done because it's already past your bedtime.